I'm here with Kevin Ricard, the percussionist for the American Idol Band, now moving to The Tonight Show. Hey Kevin, so I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about Gibraltar and um, your experience with it. Well, I mean, it's really, I, I really couldn't do what I do without it these days because uh, it just makes everything convenient for placement. Uh, if I need to add something or take something away, it really makes it just really easy to do that. And it's stuff is rock solid, so whatever I put on there, I know it's not going to be moving around. And it just makes uh, your whole set look a lot cleaner with using the, the rack system. What's your experience been like touring with it, you know, and like the tear down and well, set up? Well, that, that's, the, that's the beauty of it because uh, my, you know, when I'm on the road, or when I, I don't do much road work anymore, but when I'm on the road, uh, it makes it easier for the techs. Everything's like lined up. You just they put their little, their little uh, tape marks on it. Uh, labels on it so they know where everything goes and when I'm in town like moving my my rig around to different TV shows my cartridge company knows where everything goes so I can get there and it's all already set up because it's just so easy all the memory locks are set you just match the uh, the numbers with where everything's set up and it, and it just sets up really easy and it makes everybody's life easy cool well um, we actually just got finished building your rack today um, what do you think about the new one? That uh, what, How do you think everyone's going to like it? I think it's really banging and people are going to freak out when they see it. It's just really beautifully done. Uh, it's visually, it's going to be real striking, especially with the drums that I have on it. And uh, it's going to be pretty nice. <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing it, man. Yeah, yeah. I look forward to seeing it myself. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's Brent Barnett again. And I am here at one of Kevin McCard's studios. Kevin Ricard is the percussionist for the American Idol house band, who is now the percussionist for the Tonight Show house band. And Kevin came to me, he called me a couple few days ago and said, hey, I want to build a new rack for this new gig that we got coming up here in about a month. And I was like, all right. And he goes, I want it to be a little bit different. Let's do a little flashier. You know, since American Idol had us up in the rafters this whole last season and no one could be seen, he goes, uh, we're going to be seen pretty well, so I'd like to be a little flashier. I was like, all right, cool, let's do it. So uh, what we did was we started off with the bass. And the bass was uh, just four verticals that I started off with right over here. And um, they're 36 inch tubes that I started off with. And we just chopped them down to about, I don't know, maybe 25 inches and uh, mounted them into the GRS CTLA. This is the chrome T-leg that we have. And um, we connected the horizontals together with this clamp, which is the SCGCSRA. It's the stackable right angle clamp. This is the new clamp that we, that we are offering right now. Before, the old one was a little smaller, a little more cumbersome, but now this one's big, beefy, and it ain't going nowhere. So Kevin wanted to keep everything on the same plane so we use the stackable right angle clamp and so we cut the tubes down really low because we wanted the to frame the drums inside the rack tubes so I was like Kevin when you want to be flashy let's do this let's add some curved verticals all the way up to put your cymbals on so we're gonna we're gonna put some cymbals right out of the top of this tube and what I used was one of the brand new clamps that we have, which is the SCGUATC. It's the Gibraltar Ultra Adjust clamp, end-to-end -end clamp. So you can clamp two, the ends of two clamps, to, two tubes together, and um, this little Ultra Adjust ball right in the middle will allow you to move the, the clamps in any direction you want. So you can get crazy angles now. And I did the exact same thing on the other side. Now the middle portion right here we put this tube up, this curved tube, just with this, this is a pretty much a 24 inch curved tube or a 30 inch curved tube and um, this is where he's going to mount his bongos out of. We're just going to put the down tube of the bongo stand right in the top of that and clamp her down and good night Cleveland, he's ready to go. It'll be clean, there'll be no feet on the floor. We're gonna, we're, he's leaving everything on cradles. Kevin is really, really likes the cradles, the LP cradles that he uses, so we're gonna stick with that. But with the bongos, no feet on the floor, it's coming right off the rack. And all I used to mount that with was just a standard right angle clamp that we have. We have the SCGC RA, which is the chrome right angle clamp, 
And I put two memory locks on either side of that because Kevin hits pretty hard and um, we don't want those bongos moving. So the memory locks will secure everything in place and they won't move, it, nothing will budge with memory locks. Okay, so I'm on his workstation side of the rack. And um, these vertical tubes, they're pretty tall. They're 46 inch curved tubes, just as this horizontal curved tube in the front is 46. This is the SCGPR 46C. And um, I had to build a support for this because Kevin hits the cymbals pretty hard and we don't want this thing moving. So what I did was I just took a regular 24 inch curve tube and I used our adjustable right angle clamp which is the SCGC ARA and this right here allows you to adjust this portion left, right, however many, you know, whichever direction you want. There's gears on the inside that allow you to get these different angles. And so I connected it to the base of the rack right here by using the other right angle clamp that we have, the adjustable right angle clamp that, allow, that uh, functions a little bit differently than the other one. Um, unlike this one, this one adjustment is right here. It's like a normal GCRA clamp, but there is a drum key screw on the inside that allows you to um, turn this portion of the clamp left or right. You can spin it all the way around. There's gears on the inside, like right in here, that will allow you to spin everything around. You can get any crazy angle you want. And then you just lock the drum, you find the, you find the angle that you want, and then you just lock it in with the drum key screw on the inside. All right, so now I am over on the timbale side of his rack. So what we got going on over here is the same thing that we had on the other side, which is another support. But what I did differently here was if you notice, I have another T-leg on the ground. This is our uh, mini T-leg, which is the SCGRS CMTLA. And um, what we did was Kevin's got a hand sonic that he is going to be mounting out of here. His timbales go right over here, and then his hand sonic goes right here. And um, we wanted a way to where we could split this rack off, like in two sections. So if he wants to, he can disconnect the rack at this point right here and have the whole front portion be, its own, be on its own and then this whole side portion over here can be on its own. But what we're going to do is we're going to mount his hand sonic right out of the top of this vertical tube. And all I did was just use that same um, stackable right angle clamp over here as I did on the front two verticals to keep everything on the same continuous line. Now he's got a straight bar over here. He specifically wanted a straight bar because we tried using a curved bar at first, but he likes everything extremely close to him. He likes everything extremely close and the curved bar, since it came out this direction, the timbales were too far from him. So he was like, let's use the curved bar. I was like, okay. So we put the curve, we put, I mean the straight bar. So we used a 58 inch straight bar and I had to chop down about probably maybe a foot not, even, not quite a foot, maybe eight to 10 inches. And um, because it was just a little bit too long, but we now can fit everything on his right side on this straight bar. Now what this vertical tube is here is, this is uh, an area where he's gonna mount like a cowbell or he's gonna put some more cymbals. So he's got his timbales right here that'll pretty much come right over here. Then I'm gonna give him a tom arm, and tom arm is gonna come out here and he's gonna mount a cowbell to it. And then right here in the back vertical, he's, gonna, he's got a bunch of other cymbals, like a bunch of cymbal stackers that he's gonna use right here. Okay, now I'm in the back side of Kevin's rack. This right here is Kevin's staple. This is the GPRWS, the Gibraltar Pro Workstation. Every single percussionist I've ever run into that works a lot uses this thing. Now, you probably saw this little bar sticking up right here that I didn't mention earlier. Now, this is where Kevin puts his SPD-20. He's no longer going to have an SPD-20. It's now going to be the SPD-30. And before, he had just this, you know, the typical tube that came, the mounting tube that came with the SBD-20 when he would 
when he would uh, attach it to the rack. Now, I was like, why don't we make it a little more interesting? So we just added a curved bar right here. If you look closely, I used memory locks everywhere. You will need to use memory locks, otherwise you will hate yourself later. When you go to tear this down to go take it on a gig with you, you will hate yourself if you do not use memory locks. And this is Kevin Ricard's new rack. The next time you see this, we'll be on The Tonight Show. And we just wanted to thank you for watching this video. I hope you had as much fun watching the video as I did building the rack. Leave a comment down below. We want to know your thoughts, feelings, comments, questions, anything that you want to leave, we want to hear it. Also, please subscribe to our channel right up there because there's a lot more rack videos to come.